Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today's video is just going to be on keeping your immune system up to par, especially if you are still in China like I am. We have the whole like coronavirus little like frenzy going on right now. I'll get into that at the end of the video and just kind of let you guys know like what I know, what my school has been telling me so far. Um, but for now, I'm just going to jump into the video and give you guys just some tips on keeping your immune system up and keeping your body healthy while you're in China or just in general. So I'll go ahead and start by showing you guys my multivitamins. With these, you literally just take one or two. I usually take like one of these and one of these and just pop it into a water bottle. They dissolve like um, an Alka-Seltzer. So these are the Watson brand. It's just strawberry flavor. It's vitamin C. And then these came from Family Mart. I'm sorry you guys really can't see it. I'll just insert a picture. But these came from Family Mart and these are vitamin C as well. They are lemon flavor. So I know at Watson's they do have like a variety. So they have like multivitamins. They have like different brands. But I just got these two. I got these from Family Mart when I was out one day because I needed some. And then I just ordered these on, on, um, uh, oh, I ordered these on Ulama because I needed some. Again, guys, every single day I just take one of each, pop it into a water bottle, let it dissolve, and then I drink it. Next, I have my Vitafusions women vitamins i take these every single day guys these are multivitamins they are for energy metabolism bone support and immune support these are very good they just taste like regular gummies they don't have those little bits of sugar all over them and yeah i really like these so yes every single day i take two of these what i also take every day or i try to take these every day um, these are the airborne chewable tablets. So these are for your immune system. They're chewable so you don't need water. You can literally chew like one or two of them, which is what I usually do. And yeah, it keeps my immune system up. So that's that. I also take my probiotics. I don't take these like every single day like I do with my vitamins and the um, multivitamin tablets, but I try to take my probiotics every day. I have different types of probiotics. Like these are the Nature's Made. These are the 30 billion live cultures and it's 12 strands. And then these are Nature's Bounty. The only difference between these probiotics are these are... 20 billion live cultures and then it's 10 strands um, and these uh, probiotics but pretty much get you some probiotics your probiotics are good for your immune system digestion and yeah some other stuff as well get you some probiotics guys I don't use my Theraflu every single day I only take this as needed and so far I haven't needed it at all which is very good but I have the severe cold and then I have the severe coughing cold. So the only difference between these are this one's for daytime and this one is for nighttime. But again, these aren't even open. I haven't had to use them yet, which is surprising. And I also have some cough drops. I bought like a really big bag of cough drops before I left um, just to kind of help soothe the throat. Um, when I initially got to China, I was not prepared, guys. I did not, like, have the things that I have now. I kind of just said, like, once I get to China, I would just get the things that I needed because I was more worried about, like, having clothes for all of the seasons here. So I really didn't worry about, like, you know, medicines and over-the-counter things like that. So when I got here, initially I got sick, which I expected because I did do my research before I even came to China. And a lot of people were saying, like, be prepared to get sick once you get to China because your body has to, like, adjust to being in a different environment the air quality the different like I guess you can say like toxins and things in the air your body has to get used to those things so you will get sick and when I got here I did get sick about two weeks later and then after that I didn't get sick again until the weather actually changed to like winter or the season changed to winter and I noticed for maybe like 
I want to say like December all the way up until like February, March when it started getting, uh, sorry, when it started to get hot again in the spring, um, I was sick. So I was a little miserable because I didn't have like any cough drops. I didn't have anything for my immune system besides the little like tablets that you put into your water and drink. So when I went home this past summer, like I racked up, I got everything that I needed um, like Tylenols and other little like over-the-counter all of my vitamins and probiotics just so that I can kind of be on my P's and Q's this time around yeah so, the next thing that I have are my masks so I had masks before the whole like coronavirus frenzy happened because again like last winter I kept getting sick and if you know I felt if I didn't feel too bad, I would still go to school anyway. So I would wear my masks because I didn't want to get my students sick. And then I would also wear my masks in the office because when one foreigner got sick, all of the foreigners in the office literally got sick. Since the whole Karan the Karana, since the whole coronavirus thing has come about, I did spend like a lot of money on this mask here. Let me show you guys. Yeah, guys, I think I, I think I kind of like overdid it a bit, but I'm not going to put it on because I have makeup on. But here's like the little like filter on the inside. And it does have the little like 3M sticker in it, which is what they're like advising us to get. You can't see it, but it does have the little 3M sticker in it. Um, it also has like a little filter on the inside that you change and then you hold it for five seconds and it's like a little like filter fan <laughs> but yeah i went a little like overboard i'm not sure if i was doing the most with doing the most with this mask honestly we really haven't been like updated a lot on the whole like coronavirus thing so the school has been like updating us but even when people ask questions we kind of just get told, oh, well, we don't know. We're waiting on the government to kind of like tell us like what to tell you guys. Like, so we've kind of like been left in the dark. So there has also been like so many different like stories and theories and just so many different things like going around about like how the virus started and how fast it's spreading and the number of people that's been like, you know, the number of lives that have been taken from the virus like we really don't have any information and I think like most of my information just comes from the different like WeChat groups that I'm in like anytime I hear something about it mo more than likely it's coming from like one of the groups that I'm in on WeChat so you kind of just have to like I guess use your discernment and I don't know just pick and choose like what you decide to like take from it and what you don't decide to take from it but yeah um other than other than that like not a lot has been told to us and um, I didn't find out until yesterday that I was supposed to be like self quarantining myself because my HR didn't like communicate that with the people that are still in Sujo. So once we once myself and my uh, friends or co-workers came back from our trip um, we were supposed to start school on the 7th where we were supposed to have our like semester meeting on the 7th and then school was supposed to start um, the following Monday on February 10th but when we got back we were literally told that okay school's gonna be postponed because we don't know the magnitude of this you know virus and we want to make sure everyone is safe so from there my co-worker from South Africa she booked a ticket and she was gone in like two days since she's gone home like she's been checking on me daily because she knows that I'm pretty much the only person still here the other friend that i went on the trip with she doesn't live like in this apartment complex so her and i are like not far from each other but still i'm at my place she's at her place so my south african friend like she's been checking on me daily just asking like am i okay do i need anything blah 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 so yesterday she um reached out to me and she's like you know what have you been doing and i'm like uh nothing i've literally just been sitting here for the past few days and i went on to tell her that i saw some flights to japan because i'm like okay i have two weeks before school starts and that's if they let school start when it's supposed to i want to go to japan and i saw some really reasonable like 
tickets guys round trip so i was telling her you know i want to go to japan and she goes oh well can you leave and i didn't understand like what she meant by can you leave because i'm like yeah i can leave i'm gonna leave so she says um you know are you allowed to leave and I say, um, you know, I can leave the apartment, but I'm having a few reservations about leaving the country in general because so many like airlines have been canceling flights, like leaving out of China and even coming into China. So that was my main concern with like not going to Japan. And she says, um, she says, yeah, I heard about that as well. And she said, I was asking because HR sent those who aren't in Sujo a message saying we can't come back until the 18th of February and if we haven't left China we can't leave China and I wasn't aware of this I wasn't aware that I was supposed to be self quarantining myself but you know just continue to listen to the story she said um I did ask why she didn't just post it in the group chat but she gave me all types of reasons and I said oh I didn't get that memo I'm stranded with the emoji eyes so my friend or my coworker, she sent me like a screenshot of what was sent to her and it says, Dear teachers, to cope with the outbreak of pneumonia, Shengcheng District Education Bureau and the district government sent the official notice. All teachers who are not in Suzhou currently are not allowed to enter Shengcheng District before 2400 on February 17th. All those entering Suzhou who have a travel history or use the public transport service such as planes, metros, and buses should quarantine at home, in parentheses, own apartment slash school apartment for no less than 14 days. Please stay safe and let me know when you will return to China slash Suzhou. Thank you for your cooperation. So this message was only sent out to teachers that are out of the country who aren't in China right now at all. And I know you guys um, heard me say that uh, if you haven't left China, then you can't leave. And then it also mentioned like self-quarantining. Um, I was never given that memo. I wasn't aware, number one, that I couldn't leave the country because like I said, I was looking up flights to go to Japan for, you know, at least a week. And then I wasn't aware that I was supposed to be like self-quarantining myself. So my friend and I pretty much went on to say that, yes, that should have been something that was just posted in the group all together. In the group chat, I had another coworker. She reached out and she said, hello, HR. A number of us have been told personally to arrive back on the 18th of February. I'm a bit confused as to why this isn't posted in this group chat when it seems like the majority of us are overseas at the moment. Could you or other HR please clarify and provide an official statement? Um, okay, I'm not going to read any more of that message. And then HR, this is how HR uh, responded to that message. It says, the teachers who are in Sujo are quarantining at home already. I wasn't aware that I was quarantining. So they can go to work when the school opens. But the teachers who are not in Sujo have a quarantine or oh, have to quarantine at home for no less than 14 days after they come back to Sujo. Again, flights have been canceled going into China and going out of China as well. So people don't really know like when they can come back or if they're even going to be able to come back and then number two people have like extended their vacations like as soon as people figured out that school was delayed a lot of people like extended their vacations and we were off by like a day we came back on the 26th and i think on the 27th is when they said okay school is going to be like delayed a little bit so we couldn't even extend so it says um Oh yeah, so they're wanting to like quarantine, like self-quarantine for 14 days after you come back to China. So that definitely should have been something that they let like everyone know. And then HR went on to say, different teachers have different situations. So I talked to you guys personally. And the teachers who are not in Suzhou can't enter Shengcheng district until the 18th of February. We are still waiting for the official notice from the government. So I don't know when the school will start yet. So if you live in another district in Suzhou, you can come back earlier and then quarantine at home for two weeks. Then you can go to work on time. 
these requirements are not only for foreign teachers but also for Chinese teachers and students all we do all we do just follow the notices from the government but the requirements are very complicated if you have any questions please let me know personally she went on to say what the government and the school concern now is how to prevent and control the outbreak of the pneumonia hope all of you trust Chinese government and understand the situation thank you for your support and it says take care of yourself and stay safe wherever you are take care of yourself and stay safe wherever you are with the little praying hands um so my whole issue is they're saying that they don't know when school's going to start because everyone pretty much is going to have to like self quarantine but you know and, and to an extent i do understand because they're waiting to hear from the chinese government and like i said and if you've lived in china before you know how the chinese government works and there's nothing that we can really do about it but we've also been asking about like our salaries like are we going to get paid like we get paid on the 10th of every month and of course we're going to get paid for february because it's stated in our contract that um even though we are on our winter break in january like we get paid our entire salary for february but if we're missing all of these days in february like are you guys still going to pay us and of course they don't have the answer to that either but anywho back to my story so one of my co-workers um he responded he said um hr don't you think the school should keep the teachers up to date of the possible future plans instead of waiting until someone asks so HR says, I told everyone what I know already, but let me stop there for a second. Um, again, I wasn't aware of the self quarantining thing and I wasn't aware that I couldn't leave China at all either until someone else mentioned in the group that, you know, hey, can you put that message in so everyone can see it? So I didn't know that if HR didn't reach out to you like personally, then you didn't know like you missed that whole memo altogether so that's what you know this specific co-worker was um referencing so again he says hr don't you think the school should keep the teachers up to date of the possible future plans instead of waiting until someone asks so hr says i told everyone what i know already and my co-worker says only after someone asks never heard about self-quarantine before and then hr says I sent messages to you already. I told you, I told you have to stay at home. Well, I told you, you have to stay at home. And then my coworker says that, that doesn't mean self quarantine. So HR says, what does self quarantine mean? And then she says, stay at somewhere else. And he says, it means you give, it means you give a specific advice as to what the school or government wants us to do. Staying home is meaningless which I do understand what he's saying because when we were initially told on January 27th that school would be postponed until the 17th of February, the only thing that we were sent was this message that I'm going to read to you. So today is February 2nd, I think. So we've been told this like a few days ago. So the message that was sent out to everyone, it says, kindly remember to prevent catching the infection in China Here's what you can do. So to me, I'm taking it as, you know, what you can do. These are just like tips on prevention. So it says, wear masks outdoor, cover your coughs and sneezes with tissue, wash your hands frequently and properly, strengthen your immune system and exercise regularly, avoid close contact with people who have flu or cold like symptoms, eat thoroughly cooked meat and eggs, Avoid contact with wild animals or farmed livestock without any protection. Avoid large gatherings. Stay at home. Make sure that indoor air is circulating. And then it says, if you have a fever and feel unwell, please seek, please seek medical advice and contact us immediately. So again, that's like all we, oh, sorry, you can't see it. But that's like all we were sent. We were never told that we couldn't leave the country and we were never told that we needed to be like self-quarantining for two weeks because from my understanding and from most people's understanding, quarantine means that you need to like literally stay in your apartment. You can't leave whether you need to go like to the store to get tissue or food or whatever. Like you need to like stay in your apartment. We weren't really like told that. These are just like suggestions. So I get where he's coming from, but... 
I guess like at this point, we kind of just have to like play the waiting game and just pray that at the end of the day, like we won't be affected too bad by this. And you know, if stuff hits the fan, you better believe I'm packing my bags and I'm getting the heck out of China <laughs> by any means necessary. So again, guys, those are like my tips on like keeping your immune system up and just like, I guess, preventing yourself from getting too sick uh, wear your masks if you're in china take some like vitamins and stay indoors if you can but yeah i hope you guys like that video and if i get any more information as to like what's going on with this whole coronavirus thing i'll definitely like make some more videos for you guys but as of now i really don't know anything so again i hope you guys like the video like comment subscribe and pray for me y'all